Hey, what's up guys? It's Elastic Spider, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at the Tier 10 British Light Cruiser, the Minotaur. So, I just recently got this beautiful ship, and yes, it is beautiful, and I was expecting a lot from this coming from the Neptune, which has a awesome 4.4 second reload, great AA, that definitely does rival the Baltimore, and that uh, is also some very good firepower. Um, but also has some great torpedoes. The The concealment is not the best, but uh, so far I've been liking the Minotaur so much it seems like a straight improvement, which it should be, uh, from the Neptune. As you can see, I've got 8.9 kilometer concealment. I've got 7.2 kilometer AA range, which is just perfect. And I've also got a lot of torpedoes, smoke, heals, and hydro all ready to counter the enemy destroyers, battleships, and even cruisers. So, again, as I always try to do, I try to have the mod on the screen uh, to show you guys and help you guys figure out what I'm aiming at and how I'm aiming so you guys can learn a little bit more from the way that I play and try to implement that into your, into your gameplay. So, get spotted. As always, I'm using priority target. You can see right before I went off the grid there, there's six people looking at me. A few of those probably were battleships, so turning towards the battleships is not a bad idea whatsoever. Which I do, and all those shells go, uh, go over my ship. One thing I do want to mention here is that as soon as I pop my Hydra, I realized that the Missouri was is within radar range, so I'm thinking it's time for me to leave here. Uh, a a Missouri can definitely one-shot a mon uh, Minotaur, no problem. So instead of sticking around, I'm going to back up and let my destroyers do some of the capping because they can do a much better job of capping the objective than I can. They're much, uh, they're much sleeker and stealthier than I am. So I'm going to let them do that. But I'm still going to stick around. I'm not going to completely abandon them. I'm just going to try and get outside of this uh, Missouri's radar range. Do a little test shot there. See if I get spotted by a plane, which I do not. Which is, of course, great. But unfortunately, the Missouri does go out of sight. So, what do I do? I just keep backing up because there is a smoke cloud there. So, I, I want to get at least far enough out of his radar range for me not to have to worry about radar. And so that's what I'm doing right now. Slowing down. Going to smoke up. There's quite a few battleships here that I am I can shoot. One of them's in my range and a few more coming into it. So there's no point in uh, moving up a little bit and having the risk of the Misery getting uh, radar off and doing massive damage to me. Of course, my Hydro is down so I do have to be careful. But I feel that... Uh, with two battleships in front of me and a few destroyers, I'll be a-okay uh, with that. So I just hold down left mouse button and just keep doing. At this point, I remember grabbing a cup of coffee, uh, going to the bathroom, reading the newspaper, reading Facebook. Uh, I'm, I'm kidding. But in any case, uh, this is just easy damage. Something that the Minotaur does so well, just... Constant, constant DPM, uh, and, and just mowing people down. Missouri was flooding, but I actually managed to get the kill. Grossacur first. He is uh, given a little bit better broadside than the Minotaur, or uh, than the Iowa was rather. Uh, but unfortunately, he goes undetected as well. This will happen a lot throughout this battle. They, uh, the enemy team will smoke, and then our team will smoke, and then. There's a large period of time when there's just no one spotting and and a bunch of smoke is is all over the place. So, with that being said, I have, I do have to be careful now. Um, oddly enough, I don't have the smoke counter, so I'm not too sure when it's going to end, but I'm sure it's going to end soon. You can obviously still calculate this uh, from just subtracting the time that it's active from the time uh, that you uh, s deploy your smoke 
And that's not a bad way of doing it. Um, but I'm going to need to back off here in a minute. Do want to mention one thing is you can actually stealth fire in these British Lake cruisers. Um, but seeing that there is a destroyer in the area, I'm going to just go into stealth. Uh, the curfers can easily penetrate my citadel, uh, no matter my angle. So any any of the battleships can. And so I do want to be careful of that. Azuma Shell's coming in, but he expected me to keep going straight, but I decided to turn because I thought that there would be some shells coming in. So someone is a little mad in chat uh, for whatever reason. Uh, but we have lost three of our destroyers thus far with two left against their four. So it is a bit of a struggle. I'm going to have to do a little bit more work uh, on these destroyers um, than I'm, I'm, I guess, used to. But also more than I should have to. So, again, pop another another smoke here. My smoke comes up after around 40 seconds after being used because I run the premium smoke like a good British cruiser player should. But again, uh, not much is getting spotted. Akizuki Aksu gets spotted, um, but a, a little destroyer changing course so so quickly uh, at 10 kilometers is rather hard to hit with these lofty shells. Uh, so I'm only going to land a few shell hits there. You can see one bounce. But, uh, yeah, my main focus is going to be the Kerr first. Uh, just because he's easier to hit and he I can actually do quite significant damage to him. The Fletcher that shot those torpedoes into the smoke gets the Akizuki and is also going to get this Kerr first, maybe. We'll see. Nope. Uh, the Z-46 ends up killing him. Something I like to do a lot in the Minotaur is actually when I've got a target and I know he's standing still, that's what the red circle above his head means, is I just like to uh, hold left mouse button and then also hold right mouse button. This will keep your guns in place wherever you were aiming them and you can free look. This is nice because I can reassess my situation. I can look to see what ships need help. And uh, if there's any vulner vulnerabilities that I have, so if you notice there, I actually, I actually uh, turn my ship in a little bit towards B, just so that if any of the torpedoes come, then uh, I will actually have a much easier time to to dodge those. Not gonna pop. I didn't pop my hydro immediately because this Fletcher was so so kind to lend me some smoke. I did compliment him twice after the game because my theory is uh, every time a destroyer gives you smoke, you give him a compliment. So, destroyer gives you two smokes, you give him two compliments. That sort of thing. Again, not f a foolproof system, but I think uh, I think people enjoy it uh, from both parties. So, again, still peppering this guy. Uh, it's starting to get a little saturated. I'm not getting the classical... 1, 2K, but you see a lot of 1Ks, 500, here and there. Um, but we're already up to 200 hits, not including this long hit train that we have on this Friedrich. And we're only at 80K damage. The game's about half over. Again, I'm doing the same thing, holding right mouse button. And <laughs> this is one of the problems. You just shoot. The <laughs> I'm killing all the fish, and I'm like, what the hell am I doing? Oh man, Kiev is going to be moving forward because of why not, uh, so all my shells miss on him. Iowa's giving a broadside, now this is where the Minotaur shines, 8 kilometers, 3k, 1k, 2k, 1k, like, 2k, <laughs> it, it's ridiculous the amount of DPS you have with this ship. It really is crazy. I actually kill the Kiev, which is awesome. Uh, so that's one less destroyer, and we're actually even on destroyers. Battleships, we definitely have the advantage. Five to their three, um, and two cruisers aside, but they do have map control. And what, speaking of our battleship advantage, it is just dwindled down to one less. So, Zao was spotted, or was spotted. Um, 
Hopefully someone will spot him pretty soon here. I'm assuming he dropped some torps, so I smoke. Uh, and I saw that the Fletcher smoke was actually running out as well. Or it was just about to. If the Zao is going to charge me, that's completely okay, because I'm, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'll gun him down so quickly and so easily. Uh, but it looks like he's actually going to turn away. Kiev gets spotted. Again, just shooting the DD. I don't, at this point, I know that the Kiev pre-patch had, um, had four kilometer torpedoes, um, but they might have buffed it in the most recent patch, so I do have to be careful and be mindful of that. Uh, launch torpedoes at the Izumo. Uh, he's look like, looking like he's not moving all that fast, or like he's going to be moving anywhere quickly. Start pelting him. Izumo is a little bit harder to to hit, uh, just because there's not much superstructure on him. Fletcher's giving me more smoke. Don't know if it's for me. Again, I assume that it's for me. Kiev gets spotted. I switch to him. Because uh, he's smoking the Zumo, and that's always going to be a problem. I want to kill him as quick as, uh, as, as, quick as I can. So, I end up killing him. My torpedo's coming in on the Izumo. Looking pretty good so far. Maybe I'll land one? Look, I'm looking like one. Get Confederate, one, land one, land two torpedoes. Two floodings each. And I believe he actually did burn his damage control there. Um, if only I could switch to HE, right? So, blind firing in a smoke's not a horrible idea with the Minotaur. You've got a, what, like 2.2 second reload? 2.7 second reload. Um, so, it's, of course, not all that bad. For the fourth kill, can I get it? I can get it. That is awesome. Still behind on points, about 100 points behind. And Zhao looked like he was going really slow, so I'm going to start shooting at him. So at this point, um, my smoke is coming back up. I can sit in this Flesher smoke a little bit longer because it is US, cruise, uh, US destroyer smoke. So I am confident that it'll last for a little bit longer. Uh, pretty even though on teams, five against six. So it can still swing in their favor. They still have the map control. I do have to be careful though with only one smoke left. Uh, I don't want to use it too soon because I might need it later on although I'm still at full health so it's uh, you know I can I can take a little bit of of heat before I go down Fletcher smoke run out ran out um, hopefully I can get this kill maybe for my Kraken nope Z46 grabs him Iowa shooting at the Z46. He takes a big hit. Uh, our Missouri goes down and I'm just putting on the rain of fire. Although it looks like just rain because the shells are blue but either way uh, getting some cheap damage off this Iowa. Managed to get high caliber right there. And we're looking at 191,000 damage thus far. Uh, I'll go over my captain build really quickly. Um, so I'm running priority target, as you might have seen. Uh, one of my uh, smoke radius. I like the smoke radius uh, because it gives me a little bit better uh, maneuverability in my smoke if torpedoes end up do coming through. Then I've got superintendent for extra smokes and heals and so on and so forth. Baltimore comes through. I'm gonna start. Uh, aiming right at that frontal part of his superstructure. And you can see I'm doing a consistent 1k damage every single salvo. Uh, if At this angle, I will bounce all my shells on the Baltimore if I go straight for a Citadel. So I have to just suck it up and go for the superstructure. Although it seems like it's taking forever. Uh, he's bleeding health very, very quickly. 
Any day now. Need to aim a little bit higher. All those are actually bouncing. Shoot a plane down. Okay, so, so I've got many of... Uh, then I've got manual fire control for AA. And then I've also got... Um, concealment because that is the first thing you need with the Minotaur and then I believe that's 17 points so I still have two left I think um, so Zhao gets spotted unfortunately I put out a fire and then he gets a fire right after I put one out um, but it's okay because I've got a great British heal and I'm not too worried about that so far 228 two and climb with 230,000 damage and oh my gosh I I didn't even realize this guys um, but I didn't realize how many hits I had uh, but I'm at 784 right now <laughs> that is a record for me my previous record was with the Kiev and 200 oh no no it was 400 hits 400 a little over 400 total hits with a few secondary hits because the Kiev did have a uh, secondary battery at that time. So three minutes left. Uh, we are still down by about a hundred points. So I'm going to need to rush this Iowa. Uh, it was, which is something I don't really want to do because his two front guns alone can definitely delete me very, very quickly. But I'm going to have to do it. Um, but I do want to mention something here. Something I do do is I wait for... I know I see that there is a battleship behind me. So I wait. You can see I look. I wait for him to get detected. Uh, so that when I come... Hopefully he can bait the Iowa to shooting. So when I come, I can just launch torpedoes off at him. Uh, without being spotted. Um, so he should be shooting pretty soon here. There we go. He was trying to get the preemptive shot on the on that Montana, but that's completely okay because, well, he's screwed now. Got my two torpedo sets off, um, but actually it probably wouldn't have mattered. Uh, just Minotaur this close range, um, yeah, he's oh I'm always gonna win. So I actually managed to get a Kraken with the torpedo. Shells coming in from that Zhao. Will they miss? Well, only one hit. Um, and I have really yet to take all that much damage. So we actually managed to get the third cap, Alpha, and uh, thanks to our Fletcher. So he's done, a, he's done a great job of smoking me up, keeping me safe, and also spotting and doing other stuff of that nature for me. So uh, looks like at this point that they are the enemy team is in some deep doo-doo. Uh, we have all three caps. We're leading by uh, on the point, and we have three ships left compared to their two. However, a Z-46 on a thousand, a 1,600 health is not something to brag about, um, but seeing that I'm still alive, um, it is certainly, certainly going to be a little bit more difficult for the enemy team. Uh, but I do have to be careful because I have used up all of my smokes, um, so... Yeah, I, I am definitely going to have to be careful because, again, Zaoichi against a light-armored cruiser, uh, he can do very good salvos, even with HE. I've seen 8, eight and a half to 9K on the upper end and even 6K on the lower end um, on Minotaurs and even, like, Battleship Superstructure 2 if you land at least, a good, uh, at least half to a majority of your shells. You're doing uh, six, seven k on most enemy ships, um, but again, like light British cruiser, cruisers, uh, they do take a little bit more HE damage because most of their ship is actually penetrable by uh, by the Zhao's HE. So the one thing I like about manual fire control is that I can target this plane, and it will be get shoot shooting. Uh, it will be shot down relatively soon. The Fletcher actually uses defensive fire and kills him. Zal was on 7k HP. It looks like he didn't have a heal. I'm trying to stay angled in, um, but I noticed that the Zao is not actually looking at me, so I'm gonna unleash my full broadside. But uh, the game actually ends. So looking at the screenshots here, 542,000 credits, 6k. 
XP 316, free XP, Confederate Kraken, high caliber, 257,000 damage, and look at this, 838 shell hits. That is crazy. Five ships killed, one assisted base capture, and one plane shot down. Team score, 2,806 base XP is certainly a great match overall. And then finally, we have the team, uh, the detailed report. Didn't take all that much damage because not much was uh, thrown my way. Again, thanks to my Fletcher buddies. Uh, giving me smoke and sitting in my own smoke, I was able to do a lot of damage there. Um, but yeah, I did manage to do a little bit of capping. You can see 8 out of 179 cap points. And then finally, the credits aren't all that bad. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm certainly loving the Minotaur. And let me know down in the comment section if you are as well. But without further ado, guys, I'll see you guys later and take it easy.